Hey guys, what's going on? So today we're going to be taking a look at the MPM3 Bumblebee. I don't really have many movie masterpiece figures. I only have two of them. But might as well go ahead and get them started. So this was it's the third one, but it's the first new mold. Because the first two, won't, the first one was a repaint of Starscream from the Revenge of the Fallen uh, Hunt of the Decepticons line. Second one was like some gimmick Bumblebee figure that I don't think worked. So this is the first new mold. And I originally wasn't even going to bother because I don't really care for the movies, but I saw him at a convention back in, like, 2018, and I was like, okay. So I picked him up. Probably, If I didn't see him in person, I probably wouldn't have bothered, but I did see him in person. So there's that. Here we got his box. You got Bumblebee in rollout mode and vehicle mode. Transfer. This is different. Most masterpieces don't say this, but because there's a co-release by Hasbro and Takarika, like, these are actually released in stores. Here in America, you can find them at... Uh, there were Toys R Us exclusives that are Walmart exclusives, but boom, 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 and boom. Like, usually with the masterpiece, they released them has Repulse simultaneously, but these are actually released in stores here, so there you go. Here we got the boy Bumblebee. He's about the same size as the other car bots, so he's not, like, huge or anything, but he looks nice. I always liked this car mode. He's based on the first movie, this is the 2007 Concept Camaro, but it looks really nice. He looks really good in this mode. Um, his undercarriage isn't too bad. Not like, remember the uh, Human Alliance one we had the head right there? They at least have a metal bar here to try and hide that. <laughs> but you're not going to display your car mode like this. But he does look, he looks really, really good in this mode. Nothing fancy, but he's really cool. So transforming him. Again, it's a, it's a masterpiece figure, so it's going to be a little involved. But we're going to take that piece and rip it in half, apparently. We're going to take that piece off, clip it back together, and then close it up. That's going to be his gun. That's my cat. Hi, girl. <laughs> Go ahead, and we're just going to separate all this stuff. Open the doors. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway, so we're going to open the legs up, pull these out, pull the legs down, fold this piece in, open that up, pull the wheel down, fold that up, and then you're going to want to clip that into place, push it in to get it tight, otherwise it's going to be really loose. We don't want that. Clip this piece together. That will form his leg. And there you go. We're going to do the same thing on this side. So like I said, make sure you give it a little squeeze. That'll help it. Boom, boom. There we go. Let's go, we're gonna go ahead and just pull these out of the way real quick, fold these in, like that. Now we'll work on the upper half. So we'll just pull these out, these are gonna be his arms. Of course they are. Fold these back, fold this piece up top, in, 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 flip this piece, fold it in that way the head will pop out fold these pieces down collapse it all together so let's go ahead and raise the camera now we'll get bumblebee all situated fold these pieces in like that so we can clip these pieces in to kind of hold everything together go fold this all back fold these pieces down to make like the stingers on his wings which i think the first one will be to have those so good job get his head out of the way real quick so we can just move these things which again i don't remember a lot of bumblebees having these little fin things And then open those up and pull out the hands. 
when I get it. <laughs> oh boy, I'm so good at this. And then just get the shoulder pads out. And there you go, you got Bumblebee in his robot mode. And he looks really nice, he looks really nice. Size-wise, um, his tracks. So he's the size of a standard car bot, which makes sense. I don't know how um, I don't know how the movie characters scale with the G one characters, but there you go. You're probably not going to display your masterpiece movie figures with your G one figures. Um, anyway, but he looks he looks really good. He looks just he looks like Bobby, which he should. Um, I love the colorization. I love the bright yellow. I love the dark gray. I love the black. He looks really, really nice. Like, this is... I'll get to my overall opinions in a second, but... I love how he looks. I love how he feels, too. He feels nice aside from him. He's a little, little wobbly down there. But that's okay. His articulation's really good. His head's on a full 360. No, it's not. It goes about... It can turn. You can't do a full 360. It stops, like... I want to say like 290, maybe 300, I don't know. He can look up. He can't, he can kind of look down, but you know. Arms can do a full 360, but if you block with the wings, you're going to have to like kind of finagle them. They move out like, they move in like that and out like this for some reason. I, I don't know why, but they do. He has a single elbow joint. He has a wrist. His fingers all open and close. His thumb can't turn, but it can go up and down like that. It's weird how it's limited like that. I simply just keep him as a fist, but the fist is kind of ugly. <laughs> this can go forward, can go back. He's got a single knee joint. He's got a waist swivel, but he's got no waist pivot, which is weird. He's got a toe. He's got some ankle tiltage. Turns up here. Legs go in and out. And I think that's about it for the articulation. Um, so yeah, he looks good. He feels good. He moves good. Um, he's got a couple more gimmicks. If you pull this piece up, push those pieces, push that down, push his head down. He's got his battle mask. Which I typically don't keep him with. I typically just... I prefer him, honestly, just with the face. <laughs> That's just me. When it comes to his gun, he can store it right back there. Or, alternatively, you can hold his hand in, plug the gun in there, and then close the arm around the gun. And then he's got his gun arm, which is how I typically keep him. Personally, but... I gotta say, in my honest opinion, and I, like I've said, I'm not the biggest fan of the movie franchise. I'm really not. But any of every Bumblebee figure ever made, G1 animated prime masterpiece movie, this is the best Bumblebee toy that's ever been released, in my honest opinion. He looks fantastic. He feels good. His transformation is great. And he just, he looks like the movie character. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of the movies, but in terms of the quality of this figure, he is really, really awesome. And I'm I'm really glad that I bought him. And I think you'll be happy with him, too, if you get him. But, anyway, I don't know if there's much more for me to say other than what I already said. So, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoy him like I have. And um, I might do Optimus next. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to probably do Optimus. But... Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care.